Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura Change. I'm a beauty and product photographer and retoucher based in the UK. And yes, you heard it right. It's my birthday tomorrow. So I'm feeling extra generous these days. So besides having an amazing 50% off flash sale for all my online courses over at verachangeeducation.com, including beauty photography, beauty retouching, product photography, and photography business. I've also created a pack of five amazing freckles brushes that I'll be giving you for free with this video so you can spice up your beauty or portrait photography. You can download them completely for free, links in the description. But don't forget, if you download them, just give this video a like, you know, just so I know that you enjoyed it and you download it. Today I will show you how to install them and how to use them to create some magic. So after you downloaded the brushes from the link in the description, they'll be probably in your downloads folder or desktop and wherever you are saving them. So what you want to do is to open a Photoshop and go to window and brushes. That will open up a window for you or maybe it's somewhere in your panels. And just click this little hamburger menu and select import brushes. Now find the brushes that you downloaded and hit open. And now the brushes will be loaded on the very end for you. So those are all five brushes that will create an amazing freckles. So I have this picture here of Lauren. By the way, behind the scene from this shoot is on my YouTube channel. I will link it in the description as well so you can go check it out. So I want to create some freckles. So we have a five brushes, regular freckles, small freckles, heavy freckles, few freckles and one freckle. And we will use a combination of them all to kind of create the most natural results. And before I start using the brushes, I want to adjust them a little bit so we can go to brush settings if it's not there you can just go to window and brush settings and we want to turn on few things that will help us make them more random and more natural so let's go to shape dynamics and choose the size the jitter to about 70%, minimum diameter at least a 50, angle jitter, I push those sliders a little bit, click the flip X jitter and flip Y jitter, it means every time you click the brushes will rotate a little bit, change the size, change the angle, just so we create complete randomness with them. And now let's just have a look at these brushes. So the regular freckles will just create some regular freckles here let me zoom in a little bit so you can see so those regular ones are just regular ones small freckles are then just these tiny little ones then we have heavy freckles that will create proper heavy freckles on your models then we have a few freckles so there's just a couple of them if you want to fill in some spaces and there is a one freckle as well if you just want to add one little one here so Let's try them on Lauren here. And there are two ways how you can use this. And I find mixing both ways, it's going to give you the most natural results because that is what we are aiming for. We are aiming for the natural kind of effect of those freckles. We don't want to make them look like they are made in Photoshop. So first on an empty layer, we can select the black brush, choose the regular ones. Let's change the size however we like you see the brush is rotating as i go i want to create just a few of them here something like so and then go to your layer and switch the blending mode from normal to soft light now this is a good base but it doesn't look natural at all so let's help it a little bit I'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur and add just a little bit of blur on those freckles about one pixel but it will totally depend on the size of your image so i'll go for two pixels here fantastic maybe i'll bring down the opacity a little bit here okay now we'll put a layer mask on grab my normal regular soft brush and let's just delete some of them i want to just build on top of it so this will be just the first base of the freckles that looks quite good now we can create another layer so let's go for one more grab our black brush grab our heavy freckles this time and put some heavy freckles 
on her nose where those freckles would probably be the heaviest so let's click on this go to again switch to blending mode for soft light and that looks cute again add a layer mask on you can just mask out some of them so they're not so regular again let's not forget to add a little filter on this you can add the same amount let's add few freckles here as well so use the few freckle brush i'll stay on the same layer here and i'll just add a couple of freckles somewhere and that looks nice perfect and let's add one freckle as well somewhere here beautiful maybe down here perfect See, they are a little bit too sharp, so I want to actually put them on a separate layer so I can add more blur to them. So I'll just put them back on, go to filter and blur, Gaussian blur and add a little more. Perfect. Let's switch to blending mode to soft light. That looks amazing. And now what I want to do is to create a few more layers, but I will be using curve adjustment this time. So let's go to curve adjustment layers let's bring the curve down as much as we want doesn't matter the color shift or the darkness or anything this is actually good for the freckles so let's invert the mask command i and this time paint with a white brush go for these small freckles fill in some spaces in between them and just put a few freckles there like so we can also go a little bit with the regular then also let's go one more for the heavy perfect again we need to add a little blur on them so go to filter blur and a gaussian blur just to give it a little bit of blur so they're not so sharp and we can bring down the opacity a little bit since we are on a mask we can grab our black brush and mask out a few things that we don't want here like inside the nose on this side perfect maybe i will add a little more freckles here let's go with the regular freckles on this side you can really combine them however you like and try the heavy oh yeah that looks a little better you can also bring down the flow of the brush if you want to stay on the same layer but you don't want the freckles to be so prominent there this looks beautiful i also want to add couple of them around the face just kind of randomly like this maybe down here i think this looks good let's just add a few freckles on the fingers as well just to keep naturality of this because people with freckles usually doesn't have freckles only on the face so kind of just you know think about how people actually look like those that they have freckles naturally on their face and try to replicate that okay i think this looks pretty good let me put all these into one group let's see how it looks like let's go our before and after i really love these results but i don't like the color too much so what i want to do now is to actually color grade those freckles a little bit so they're matching the skin tone a little bit more if you're using this as a part of your workflow i definitely recommend using the freckles before you do the color grading of the whole image so the freckles can blend a little bit more with the whole picture but if you're just doing it on top of everything uh, you will need to add a little bit of color grade only for the freckles so we can create a, for example a selective color adjustment here let's clip it into one of our freckle layers which one is the most prominent probably this last one so let's clip it onto the curves by pressing all the option and hovering between those lines to find this little icon that's we know it's clipped and will only affect the this layer and now we can just play around with the color of the freckles and find the one that works the best obviously we don't want them to be too pink but we can have them a little bit darker let's go to reds and see how that works and just find the best color for the freckles perfect if you still feel like it's a little off you can create a couple more adjustment layers let's go for example for hue and saturation also just clip it down and we can 
bring less saturation to them and maybe less of a lightness so they're a little bit darker perfect this looks amazing let's see the results before and after you can go as crazy as you want you can go very heavy create freckles all over the face and all over the body again just keep in mind where the freckles usually will be so don't place them in the inside of the palm because that's where freckles usually are not uh, visible and you know kind of just be mindful a little bit but you can go really crazy here or you can go a little more subtle like here or you can go completely almost invisible and blend them in with the picture just like here so it's totally up to you you have five amazing brushes if you combine them together you will get the best results and if you add a little adjustment layers on them as well that will make them even more natural so go download the brushes links in the description and uh, don't forget to give this video a like maybe comment on it uh, if you feel like wishing me a happy birthday and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this i'll see you here next time bye